It's so good. Thank you. I wish they Okay, we're going to get started anyways, because I think uh, people are going to be uh, coming in when it's overflowing from over there. So, uh, hi, hi Jin. Jin. Yes, uh, okay, so let's wait for a bit. Uh, okay, okay, so this is Nanjia, uh, so he's, he's the uh, representative from, uh, from the paper. Yeah, so okay. he's going to give the talk later about, uh, yes, after your segment. Right. Yes, okay. Then uh, the second segment is Adrian. Adrian, uh, he'll come over later, uh, okay. at about 10, 40. Awesome. I uh, know, uh, from uh, Note Flare is a uh, startup. Okay, so, right, is it yeah, the icons? Yeah, I saw you put them up. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so cool. uh, please make yourself comfortable. Uh, so, I think I mean, and show you uh, all the technical stuff about how to set up and stuff like that. Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah. Okay, can I have to rush back? Yeah, sorry right. about that. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thanks. 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 Thanks
the, the white um, innovation uh, industry 4.0 building AI center for and SOC. Okay, so that will be really uh, within the time frame that you guys are uh, students on campus. Isn't that great? It'll be ready by 2021. Okay, but what it is is that this project has started in SOC and it's grown up to be such a big force that many many different industry players see the importance of self-initiation, self-initiative, okay? So Google, DSO, uh, CFG, Boeing, PayPal, PayPal representing here in the front, uh, by King in the uh, green shirt over here, he'll be giving you uh, a talk on software engineering. ThoughtWorks and NoteFlare, NoteFlare will have a talk by Adrian later in the morning, um, talking I think more about design thinking. Okay, so I hope some of you are sitting with your partners, okay? Some of you may not have partners yet. You know Orbital must be done in groups of two, exactly two. I think Jin has already told you the reason in the roadshow. Okay, it's very clear. We want you to be working with others. It's not good to work solo, okay? Hardly anyone in industry works on projects totally on their own. They're always connected to other software engineers, other developers, other testers, other uh, management, okay? But, we also need to think about how to do it in such a way that you're not in a big team and you can show a contribution. Okay? That's why we mandated it for two. So the question that I want you to think about in the back of your minds for the next, oh, 15, 20 minutes now, is why are you taking this class? Okay? Like I've told you before, this is not an ordinary class. It is a class that we actually structure to give to you for free credits. Okay? You may have heard that Provost now has a module. It says, you guys can study whatever you want. Bring your own materials. Find a uh, faculty mentor to um, just guide you along. But you can take whatever courses you want. Like you uh, may have taken courses on edX or taken courses on Coursera. Those don't count for anything, right? But now you can count it for your own marks. Or you can get credit for it. You can get CSCU credit for it, right? Pass fail credit. Okay. Orbital was structured in the same guise. We said, what we want to do, you guys, as a team of two, figure out what you want to do. Okay? All we're going to do as faculty is array a structure for you to go through your summer. Okay? The, the structure is just to compel you, urge you to finish your project, finish what you started. That's all. Okay? So, there are lots of reasons you could be taking Orbital. All right? Some of them are including, I want to get my key internship next year. I want to go to Silicon Valley, I want to go to Facebook. Or maybe I want to stay in Singapore and make a contribution here. Maybe at PayPal, maybe at NoFlare, maybe at another company. Okay? Or I want to strike it out on my own. Okay? I want to do something for myself. I'm going to grow, take Orbital to start the seed of a project that I really believe in, that I'm going to develop over the course of the summer next year too. Okay? So talk with your partner or think about it at least enough if you haven't found a partner yet at Copilot, find a Copilot later in the afternoon. You can uh, talk with other people in Orbital who don't have partners yet, okay? And then find somebody like-minded who can work with you. So this is what we're going to do uh, throughout uh, Orbital. Okay, but I'm just going to introduce you to the basic concepts, which you've heard a little bit about already in the roadshow presentations. Okay? Orbital consists of really two different things. It's the online part, where we go through all the different uh, pieces of the framework that I talked about. But also, um, at the bottom over here, liftoff. Right? This is a two-day workshop that you're taking starting right now okay, to help you figure out how to structure your journey over the summer. Okay, what you get from Orbital is actually four pass-fail MCs that we will assign you in the fall. Okay, so you don't actually take any courses over the summer unless you're taking special term. So you're just taking it for fun because it's your time. You invest how much time you want. As long as you've put in 140 hours necessary for normal coursework. Okay, we are going to have to trust you on that. We're not going to sit there and you know clock in, clock out. You are going to do that for us by keeping a log of the time that you spend on your project. Okay? All right? All 
what we want you to do is learn from where your basis is now. Okay, so if you have in your thought, in your mind right now, how much software engineering, how much project development, how much web app development, how much machine learning, whatever you want in your background, okay? I want you to treat this like a module where at the end of the semester, you can show your peers, not me, not Jin, not Anand, okay, our instructors or facilitators, that you have done much better than where you started from. That is sufficient to get a pass for this course. Okay? Now you may be thinking, ah, okay, Min, this is such a silly system. I could just sign up for Orbital, do nothing at all, you know, draw up a poster, and you'd still give me four MCs of credit. True or not? What do you guys think? Oh no, it's morning. I haven't had my breakfast. Yes, we will give you the four MCs. Okay? Because you're going to convince your peers Lying, cheating, or whatever, that you have done four MCs worth of work. Yeah, I did my 130 hours. It was really good, man. I was watching so many YouTube videos. Okay? But that's not the point, right? The whole point of taking Orbital is to do something with your summer that you feel passionate about, okay? I am not here uh, during my vacation time to tell you this if I didn't believe in it myself, okay? I have seen over a thousand students go through Orbital, and many of them are changed, okay? They come back and say, really, I think software engineering is a really important part of what I should do. I can see myself uh, participating and helping change the world through the impact of computer science, the only profession that scales well when it comes to impact, okay? So again, the MCs will be given to you, four MCs, next semester in semester one. It does mean one thing though, that you have to make sure that your workload for next semester is sufficient to absorb that four MCs. If you don't have enough uh, workload, you come to Jin, you come to me, and we'll take care of that for you later. Okay, you can ask us through email about that. Okay, I've already told you it needs a team of two, right? So today, you need to have a partner to work through all of the programs that you're doing, okay? Again, if you don't have a, a find a co-pilot, myself here in black, and Yi Hui, who just stepped in here, our, uh, one of our TAs, okay? Yi Hui is uh, walking around saying hi to everyone. We will help you find a co-pilot this afternoon, one o'clock upstairs at STMI classroom, level three, okay? What does that mean? You go have a quick lunch, you pack it, whatever, you bring it to STMI classroom, and then we will help you meet people, okay? SOC people are not normally, you know, uh, into blind dating, okay? Speed dating, but that's exactly what it will be like, all right? You're going to put yourself out there, you're going to tell people what you are interested, what you're not sure about, you just try to meet somebody who might be able to go on this journey with you just for the summer, work with them to find a good project that meets both of your interests. Okay, so one thing you can do uh, is name your team, okay? So if you go to Skylab, okay, I'm going to try to open that up. <laughs> okay, I think you guys all have come to this uh, site before when you signed up, okay, so you have to log in, okay, so I'm going to sign in with NUS, and I'm just going to hope it works, okay, then uh, as a student, okay, then uh, you should be able to, uh, let's say, uh, okay, you can go in uh, to Skylab and then change your team name by edit user settings, okay, somewhere over here, you can change your, your team name, okay? So I'll show you that later. Let's see, right here. Okay, so if you have brought your fully charged computing device, you can log into Skylab, start doing what you need to do. Find a unique team, team name for yourself, okay? Be creative. Orbital requires creativity, okay? Be creative in your team name. You know, a lot of teams come back and they say, you know, I'm going to put emojis in my name. 
okay? And then at lift at the at the splashdown at the ending workshop, I have the privilege of pronouncing everyone's team name. Okay? So it can be a little bit hard for me, but I, I enjoy it. Okay, so put in some emojis or whatever, okay, into your team name. Uh, be wicked cool about it. Okay? So I asked you the million dollar question. Why are you here today? Why are you wasting the first day of your official summertime sitting back in SOC, you know, here in the hangar, uh, auditorium? Like I said, you could be here just to get the four MCs. Heck, why not? Hey, it's not a four MCs, right? But please don't do that. If you're not going to use the four MCs to do something that you really like, you already know on the NUS Whispers there are people dying to come into this class for some reason. Okay, so please let it go, all right? So if you're here to actually do some work, here to fulfill your passion, thank you for being here, okay? Take any one or more of these ideas and spearhead them, okay? And to any one of you who have friends that didn't make it into the orbital, tell them, it's okay. You know, console them a little bit. Because they can do orbital all by themselves, okay? There are many people who do that. You don't think Mark Zuckerberg looked and said, ah, I didn't get into that module. Forget it, I'm not starting Facebook, right? This is just a structure, okay? A structure to compel you to do a summer on a software engineering project. But you don't need that structure if you're independent and you're game enough, okay? So there will be more details about how Orbital is structured a little bit in the afternoon. Jin will go over that from, I think, 1 to 3. So those of you who are in the Find the Copilot session, you don't have a partner yet, you can uh, uh, see some of these ideas later on. Okay, Orbital has three levels of achievement. The program is named after Space Flight, okay, um, in the early days, up to 1969 or so, okay. So up to then, there were three different uh, space programs, right? You probably know that the U.S. and the Soviet Union were locked in an arms space race. Okay, the first winners into space were the Soviet Union with Vostok. Okay, we call this the easy or beginning level. All you need to do is uh, create something that conforms to the tutorial that we give you during these two-day workshops. Basically, a simple web application that's database-backed. Okay, if you don't know what that means, Never mind, you'll pace you through that, okay? If you do more than that, you extend your project a little bit, you know, in three specific ways that you can pick from a plethora of different ways, then you will get intermediate certification, okay? Project Gemini, about half of our cohort from last year finished in Project Gemini. The other ones find, actually, the chance to do something that they really care about, okay? Not necessarily web development, really, really strongly encouraging. So they put in a lot of hours. We've had people put in 400 hours of time over the summer. That's basically past full time, like uh, 80 hours a week or something like that. In order to accomplish their project, they get awarded Apollo 11, okay? The first human mission to land on the moon and return safely to the Earth, okay? And of course, Jen, I, and Anand as facilitators, and the entire horde of people behind you that are going to help you with this are all rooting for you to do much better than Boston. We hope you will do Project uh, Gemini. We hope those of you already thinking of Project Gemini will do Apollo 11. Okay, so the structure, you already know. Today and tomorrow, you will be sitting here somewhere in I, uh, I Q to do the liftoff workshop, okay? It is a crash course. Why do I see this? Because like your other SOC modules, you'll probably be a little bit lost. Unlike SOC, other SOC modules, you'll definitely be lost, okay? Because of the accelerated pace which we throw everything at you, okay? The important thing from the workshop is to see your Recognition of terminology, recognition of ideas, okay, that all of our speakers are going to be telling you about, okay, and then over the course of the next one to two months, you'll figure out what they presented, what the heck does it mean, okay? You can't slow down enough in a two-day workshop to present everything, okay? Many of you have already bought your tickets out of Singapore, right? Okay, you're just here for a couple days 
just to finish off this uh, mandatory workshop and go off. Okay, so there are free milestones that you must do, but you don't have to be in Singapore to do it. Okay, you just need to have an internet connection and a pulse. Okay, that's all. All right, you need to do ideation. Tell us what your project idea is about. Okay, we will scaffold you through that. Second, prototyping. This is on the way to what we call an MVP, right? Not most valuable player, minimal viable product. Okay, I'm sure uh, I can from PayPal will tell us more about that. Okay, minimum viable product that you can show some core features of what you want to design. And then July 29th, right before school starts again, this is milestone three. Okay, we call that bug fixing. Okay, no, we call it extension. We don't want to put bug fixing on our slide. Okay, but in truth, you'll be standing, extending your prototype to encourage and encompass more features than your basic idea, and then you're done. Okay, you'll present at Splashdown August 28th. I think it's like week three or week two, some one. Okay, on a Wednesday, usually we uh, book the afternoon and evening for you to present your projects. Now, for those of you who are still in Singapore, we have a lot of treats for you lined up. You can come to mission control workshops that are actually on uh, basic and intermediate topics in software engineering in uh, specialized fields. Okay, for, for example, mobile development, app development, machine learning, all these types of things, okay, that you can learn uh, if you put in enough investment of time. These are going to be stretched the whole day. So they're much more manageable than the crash course that you're here for today and tomorrow. Okay? There will also be catered lunch because these are sponsored events. So that's very nice. So you'll feel, uh, if you wanted to learn React Native because you wanted to build applications on the phone, or you wanted to develop a game, or you want to learn about how to do back-end deployment, web security, user interface and user experience, okay, all of these topics you can come and, and do over uh, the course of five hours uh, here in the hangar, right here. Okay, and they'll be happening basically every week uh, throughout the beginning of summer. Okay, so uh, I think you've already seen Jin, right? Everyone's seen Jin because he's uh, been to all of the CS 1010, 10, 10, 20, 2010 workshops, right? Uh, visited your classrooms and given the roadshow. My name is Min, I'm the person in the middle. You can remember me as the minimum function. I also teach the machine learning course. I don't do very well there, but never mind. Okay, but um, you may uh, take my course in the future. And Anand from IS, he's the men mentorship coordinator. He'll help all the teams that are doing Apollo 11 find mentors for them. Okay, and this is not a small course. We have 500 plus students here. There are 50 advisors and 40 mentors also part of this. You may be wondering, what the heck is an advisor? An advisor is a senior student who's already gone through Orbital, okay? So they know what it entails. They know what the free guidelines are, okay? And they basically take five or six teams through the project scope with them, all right? They serve three different roles. They help evaluate a project as a voice from our official Orbital course, okay? They're also the project manager. They're going to remind you you have to do certain milestones at the right time, okay? And they're also your cheerleader, okay? Meaning that they're here to help make sure that you go all the way through your project. If you're down and you don't think you can accomplish it, your partner decided not to continue, okay? Or, okay, ragged flag is coming up, I don't have enough time. They will egg you on, okay? Their job is to make you feel confident and finish the project in some way or fashion, okay? Because when you can do something independent, Okay, just with a little bit of push, okay, it looks very good when you go to interview or uh, put on your resume. Why? Because everyone else can take coursework. Everyone is taking 10-10. Everyone is taking some program methodology. Does that differentiate you? No. What differentiates you is how you apply that knowledge to something you care about. Okay, that is why we put together work. All right? There are also mentors, okay? Mentors are people who are from industry. They can be faculty, they 
can be senior students who are willing to go beyond the role of just an advisor. They're there to actually champion your project. Okay? If you don't know how to do a certain thing, they can say, hey, why don't you check out these terms? Find out these websites. Look at this uh, set of videos. Okay? Learn from those. Okay? They will be sometimes people in the industry who can actually help you along. All right? But that time is valuable. Okay? Because these people, they are working adults or, or students that have internships. Okay? We are asking their time to help you. All right? So we only allow mentors to advise Apollo 11 students. Okay? Because we know these students at least have self-professed to try to finish the project. Finally, we have tutors. We have a couple today. They are the ones who are going to be conducting the workshops throughout liftoff and throughout mission control throughout the summer. Okay? Now, people is a very integral part of any computer science software engineering culture. There's no more important asset than people, maybe except for your MacBook, okay? Just kidding. Alright? But what I'm trying to say about this is the network of people that you're working within Orbital to do is very critical too. This is why it's a little bit harder to do something like Orbital if you don't have a little bit of help. Your help are your peers, the people sitting in this room next to you who are undergoing the same type of self-journey. Okay? They will be going through the ideation, the prototyping, the refinement stages with you and they will be the ones communicating with you whether your project is the bomb or bombed. Okay? Because you have to communicate whether your project is any good. You do that through talking about your project, filling out forms, and you know, doing a little bit of BS. Okay? But that's the whole point of it is doing a good job of communication. Right? Communicating what you've done about your project pressing down about your passion, your rigor in software engineering, um, and any other part of what you're doing. Okay? So you can do this in some other ways. You can use the Slack channel. I hope some of you have downloaded the Slack client. Okay? Quite a lot of software engineers use Slack on a daily basis. So it's not a bad idea to start using it now. Okay? It's just an IM tool like WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, but it's built for software engineering in mind. Okay? We also can discuss about ideas to share resources with each other. And these are all people who are within the same advising unit, okay? Meaning there's five teams that are under a single advisor. Okay? There will be email reminders once in a while, but most of the time we're going to mention things on Slack. So for today and tomorrow, try to download the Slack client. We've already started messaging on that. There will already be calendar reminders on that, okay? You can sign in here, orbital2019slack.com. If you don't have an invite, anyone in the team can invite another member. Just grab somebody and say, hey, can you invite me in? Okay? You should have already gotten an invitation for it. Okay? So you're going to use Slack for the next uh, day or two on this. Okay? So if anyone would like an uh, Android robot, okay, the first two people who... Uh, mention me in uh, a private message on Slack can get one of these. Okay, just mention out. I have my phone over here to receive a DM. Okay. Okay. We're just trying to get you to use the tools of the trade. All right. These are things that you actually use. All right. They're not, you know, uh, I don't know, sorting algorithms that you have to implement. Okay. Those things are good to know, but in actuality, you'll never write one yourself, except for within the uh, programming methodologies class, okay? Because you use a library, right? Everyone will use a, a system out. okay? Now, I've already gone over Skylab number four. Jing will go over that more in the afternoon. And the Orbital website will have certain uh, posts up. Okay, so we've already talked about a little bit about liftoff. Why are we here for liftoff? Kind of be quiet until you guys can simmer down a little bit. Great. That works very well. I was surprised. Okay. So what are we doing in liftoff? Our job here is to do one thing. That is get started on ideation. Okay? 
which is our first milestone, right? Okay, so by the end of liftoff, we want to do one thing, and that is to answer all of these questions in one minute, in one slide, which you will have to stand right here and do with your partner. Okay, that is called ignition. That's a stage of what we do in orbital. Okay, so I ask you, why are you here? What is your project? Do think hard about that. Okay. So today's schedule, you already know a bit. I hope you look through the documentation. Okay, we're going to talk about project, product design, software engineers. We're going to start with software engineering principles first. From I King from PayPal. All right. Then after that, Adrian will come in and talk about product design. Okay. After that, you have a one-hour lunch break. Okay. And then one to three p.m. we have a whole rotating army of speakers coming in and out of this room for you. Okay, to talk about worth pathways from orbital in terms of NOC. Everyone sort of NOC? Okay, this is where we send students to Silicon Valley for a year to work with a startup, go to Stanford, take business classes at night, okay, on, on normal and US uh, uh, tuition fees, right? Or you can go anywhere else in the world, okay? Uh, Beijing, Shanghai, actually, Chinese tech is incredible. Okay, you shouldn't uh, underestimate that. I mean, I see a lot of students forget about China and they're wrong, okay? Um, uh, anywhere else, Stockholm, Israel, uh, uh, a number of other places, okay? Uh, we'll talk more about mentorship, if, for those who are interested in uh, Apollo 11, Smile Lab, and how to look at past project reviews. If you don't have any idea of what you're going to do, cheat, okay? By looking at other people's projects, okay? You can't imagine how many Orbital students do, uh, you know, event uh, management or, you know, a booking venue type of projects, okay? So if you had that idea, you're in good company. Let's just put it that way, all right? Then we have uh, find a co-pilot for those of you who are, don't have a partner yet. And then in the afternoon, we will start the heavy technical stuff, okay? So get some coffee or, or a Coke or whatever your choice of caffeine is before we go through basic Android and mobile app development or web app development. You can choose, okay? This one is easier, okay? If you're not so sure about your technical ability, do the web app development, okay? This one is a little bit harder, the mobile app development, okay, on Android, okay? Up to you, okay? And for those of you uh, thinking of doing Apollo 11, stay back, 6.30 to 8, there will be a matching session with all of these hardworking software engineers and from industry who have decided to spend their Monday night with you, okay? So give them some love, show up, introduce yourself, okay? Be nice about it. Tomorrow's schedule is similar, okay? We have React, JS, okay? And for those who took Android development this afternoon, you can continue with that, okay? Or you can change, uh, uh, switch gears. And in the afternoon, very important, database and Git. Git is King, all right, you need to know that, okay? And then, as I said, ignition in the afternoon. Okay, I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna go a little bit faster. So ignition is what I just told you. You, with your teammate, need to write one slide in PDF form, okay? So you can get started on this now, all right? One minute, one slide. You must be succinct and persuasive, okay? So you can look at elevator pitch, one minute madness, and uh, see samples from last year. And watch how hilarious some of your uh, seniors were. You can joke with them about it if they happen to be your advisors. Okay? Don't come up on stage and say, uh, yeah, uh, I'm Min. Uh, our project is going to be by uh, introduced by uh, Yi Hui. Pass it on over, right? And then run off the stage. Okay? Don't do that. Be nice to your partner. Okay? So you're going to have to update your link to Skylab tomorrow. Okay? by 2 p.m., 2.30 p.m., okay? So get started on that, pull out your laptop, start thinking about it while we're lecturing you, okay? And that's all I have for you, all right? So I wish you a wonderful journey over the next three months, well, two, two months or so, and with that, uh, we'll stop this session, we'll take a one-minute break, and then we'll have Akin come on and talk about software engineering from PayPal, okay? Thank you very much.
Ken Yao Dong, are you here? Ken Yao Dong. <laughs> Vanessa ZZ. Is that your partner? Oh, there you go. All right. <laughs> 